everyone. <clears throat> How are you? Taking off my lovely little what I use for a mask. Yes, it's thin. I don't care. I can breathe through it. Masks are stupid. Anyways, hi everyone. Welcome to my channel. I'm so glad you guys are here. If this is your first time, welcome to my channel. I hope you enjoy your stay and you want to come back for more videos. If you do, click the subscribe button down below. That little bell next to it, if you click on that, that'll give you notifications of when I upload new videos. And welcome back to my returning friends. Happy Friday to you. Thursday for me. It is a gloomy, overcast day. I went out and did some shopping today. And I went to the Dollar Tree. Haven't shopped the Dollar Tree in a long time. Found a few things. Um, so we're going to share that. I went to Hobby Lobby. Guess one went to Hobby Lobby. And then I stopped at Family Fair, a little grocery store, um, to pick up a rotisserie chicken and some hot cocoa mixes that I'm using for a birthday gift. Um, and I found some gnomes at the Family Dollar. Not the Family Dollar, at the Family Fair. So... Let's see, what shall we start with? Oh, I went to Walmart too. We'll start with Walmart. Just a couple things there. Um, I needed some more of the uh, food saver bags. So I picked up two boxes of these. Um, they're eight inch rolls. They're eight feet by 12. Eight feet by 12? Anyways, I picked up a couple and I got people driving all around. I thought I was in more of an inconspicuous area, but I'm not. Um, picked up, I feel so self-conscious, I don't know why, two of these packages so I can use these when I do my um, bulk meat purchases. And then I received a, oh, a thing from Buzz Agent that I do stuff here and there from them. They'll send products and I do reviews on. One happened to be a, um, mattress pad, um, the foamy, thick foamy one. It's the, it's a cool, cooling mattress pad. And it wasn't that much bigger from one that we, that we had on our bed but it must be just enough and our sheets aren't staying down on the mattress and it drives me insane. So I saw these at Walmart, they're the sheet grippers. So I'm hoping they will hold my sheets in place so I'm not constantly fixing the bed every morning, sometimes in the middle of the night because I get up, wake up and it's undone and it drives me insane. So I picked up those and then um, I'm working on a cross stitch project oh, that I can show you because I have that. Where do I have that? Sorry, I gotta find it. It's in my purse because I took it in to find the right size thing that I want. So I finished this cute little fox and I mean it's tiny and I'm gonna mount it on a thing that I got from the Dollar Tree. I've got one that I, it's one of those, oh, orange fall placky things that I'm going to recover with fabric and stuff. And then this is going to go in the middle of it. And then I'm going to adhere some fall foliage. So I picked this one up. It's a pumpkin berry pick. Oh, just really cute. So I'm going to use that, some of this on that for the decor. So that is from Walmart. So not a whole lot. I just want to make sure I don't smash that. And where are my family fair? I don't know. Nope, that's Hobby Lobby. Um, here they are. They are so cute. You guys know I have a thing for gnomes. All about the gnomes. These will go on my hutch in my little gnome corner the little thing off so there's this one holding a sunflower isn't he adorable and he's holding the corn cob so cute and then the other one 
I didn't put a clip in my hair to hold my bangs up and they're driving me insane now I wish I would have. Um, and then there's this one, Hilden Pumpkins. Isn't he adorable? I don't know, I just have a thing for gnomes. I love the gnomes. And I probably just chipped them. Um, I'm saving Dollar Tree for last. So Hobby Lobby. I went in trying to find a um, candle stick holder because Dollar Tree didn't have any and I'm going to be doing something and I need a candle stick holder. So I went in there for that and paint to go for the, the thing that I'm doing and this is just a modern white matte spray paint so it's kind of a creamy white and that's what I want there and then the candlestick holder crinkle crinkle sorry not sorry and then I'm doing a birthday gift um, for my son's girlfriend Ivy we're going out to dinner Wednesday and this is the first time that John and I have been in a restaurant since our anniversary back in March I've gone twice inside restaurants when I went to Alabama once when I was with Suzanne and her husband and then I take that back three times because I went twice with my with my cousin um but other than that John and I have not been inside sitting down at a restaurant since March 14th so we're going out to dinner with them for her birthday and meeting her parents so that should be fun and interesting. So she is a fall girl just like me, loves all things fall. So I'm working on a hot cocoa gift bag that I'm gonna be doing and I found this mug and it's a, such a huge mug, but just a cute little girl on it and she loves all things fall as well. So pick that up for her as well as some coasters that are in that same, same line. Um, so you've got a girl with a pumpkin and then the girls down there and then the same that was on the mug and then two girls there and these are heavy duty coasters so got that for her that i'm working on i've got some coco individual pack ones um that are the lakes they're somewhere in one of these bags back here but that's just grocery stuff and i don't do grocery hauls and then a hot cocoa canister of hot cocoa put that back there when i'm trying to do all this that was hobby lobby the rest is the dollar tree um what is that, oh, that, goes in that bag. so what did i get at the dollar tree i am going to be making a two-tiered tray that's what i needed the candlestick for and I'm using a cake size pan and a pie size pan. So I'm gonna be doing those. I'm gonna be spray painting these that um, off-white color. And then I have some black chalk paint that I'm just gonna kind of paint on and then just kind of rough it up a little bit in just areas to make it look old and whatever that farmhouse look with the, the cream and then the black kind of, anyways, I'll have to show you later. But, so I got that to do that with. Um, oh, and then I also got her uh, one of those cups. Fall weather calls for cozy, for a cozy sweater. So that's going to go in her gift bag as well. I'm running out of spot to put stuff. Um, Amy from Away Girl is probably going to kill me for this, but I got some Windex. I used the Norwax cloths that she sells on my truck windows and I don't know, I don't know if I just didn't do a great great job like I did my other windows at home, but I can't see so I needed some Windex so I can clean my truck windows because it's driving me insane. A lot of things are driving me insane right now. Number one, I did my hair this morning and I grabbed the wrong box. I mean it's still a reddish color but it's not my red with my purple oh, I can do that tuck that behind my ear a little bit um, 
but it's not the red purple that I usually like and the stuff I mean it was the same brand and I thought I grabbed the one that I normally do I didn't even look because usually I can tell by what the picture is on the box and I evidently I wasn't paying attention but anyways I don't know it's just not the real color that I like but oh well um, picked up one of the blessed in the gingham pattern um, mug I can use that at, at home for work and then I am building my stockpile like I told you guys last week in my video and so I'm slowly getting things stocked up on that now I'm kind of working on some of the health and beauty um, first aid type stuff too so I picked up a bunch of band-aids I picked up two of the fabric ones and then one of the waterproof things like that and a couple of triple antibiotic ointments and these don't expire till 2020 2023 so grab those and these are going to go in my stockpile downstairs and get that all nice and stocked up let's put my paint in that bag too i guess and the last bag just a birthday bag for her goodies and i wanted it more I was trying to find a fallish type bag. I didn't really want to do a whole happy birthday, but they didn't really have any fall type bags. And I'm getting really hot in my sweater. It was cold this morning. Right now I'm starting to sweat. So we're going to turn the air on a bit. Sorry. But anyways, I grabbed that bag. And then this one just says happy birthday and then some orange. So it kind of goes with the, the color scheme on the bag. Um, I picked up a calendar. A, week or two ago I'm trying to think for downstairs in the kitchen but I needed one for my office and it has to be with beachy themes because my office is a beach theme so I just picked up this one the tropical islands and all the fun islands so I can dream of the beach the whole time I'm working um, just picked up one thing of the flowers that I'm going to use to put in the arrangement of the cross-stitch thing I'm doing to go with that I just picked up another one of the thankful grateful and blessed plaques and I'm going to sand the glitter off so that it's not on there and then I've got fabric that I'm going to attach to I'm going to carefully try to take off the raffia because I want to preserve that to go with some of these flowers and then that pick that I got from Walmart so grabbed that one and then the last four things that I got I'm only going to show two of them because they're both the same um, they're just the little houses and I'm totally going to be redoing all of this so just these and I'm going to tear the flowers off I'm going to clean it up and I'm going to spray paint these and then I'm going to try to find stencils which I didn't look for because I just wanted to get out of Hobby Lobby because I was sick of wearing my mask um, that I can do home i'm going to do home on it and these will just be some decor for the house so i just picked up two of those or four of those and that is everything i got at the dollar tree so first time back in there for a while did a little bit of shopping and got goodies to work on but now i'm gonna head for home because i do have a frozen pizza in the back for dinner tonight because i don't feel like ordering a pizza because i don't want to go back out once i get back home um, and I have a rotisserie chicken, so I'm going to go home and have some dinner or lunch. Um, but yeah, that's everything. I was supposed to be going to a fun place today, but my ticket thing didn't, didn't fall through, which is a bummer, but, um, there'll be one person who knows what I'm talking about, um, but anyways, that is everything that I have on here or on my shopping haul. I'll make sure I put my little mask back in my purse so I have that. But I'm going to head for home, let Lisey out, and all that. I'll talk to you for a little bit on my way because um, I have one more thing I wanted to share with you guys. 
if I can get out of the parking lot here. Um, the rest of the weekend, plans have changed quite a bit. Drag racing has been canceled again for this weekend, and which kind of, I'm bummed that it is canceled, but okay with it because we're watching the grand dog this weekend. Christopher's best friend is getting married and it's been, um, was canceled back in April when they were originally supposed to get married. And they're still limited to how many people they can have there, so not very many people. And he's the best man in it, so he'll, he's going, Ivy will be there, so we, we have the dog. Which, Lacey's going to be exhausted after he leaves. Um, we will have him... Christopher's dropping him off tomorrow, today for you guys, so on Friday, dropping him off. Oh, uh, before 11, I know that. He said he has, has a hair appointment at 11 and he wanted to drop him off just prior to that. So he'll be with me all day on Friday. And Saturday, I think they will be back and pick him up because I thought it was only one night that we're gonna have him. So that will be interesting, having another dog in the house overnight. <clears throat> um, so it'll be a fun and exciting weekend. Well, that is everything, guys. I am going to hop off here. I want to crank up the tunes for my drive home. So I will talk to you guys on my next video. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Until I talk to you again, remember to live a little, laugh a lot, and love always. Bye, guys.